You want to know the happenings in Jamaica today? Good, I got them right here on Jamaica News Online. I am Esmer Sastin and welcome to Jamaica News Online. These are the latest headlines today. Good afternoon and welcome to Jamaica News Online with Esmer Sustin and here's what we have in the news. PNP Patriots want Warmington removed from Integrity Commission Oversight Committee and 38 million more found during second lottery scam in search at Portmore Home. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? Up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch the Patriots, the young professional affiliate of the People's National Party, wants members of parliament Everell Warmington removed from the Integrity Commission Oversight Committee. This follows a statement from the Integrity Commission on Wednesday refuting claims by Mr. Warmington that its financial audits had not been conducted for years and that no reports had been submitted to Parliament. General Secretary of the Patriots, Paul Blake, says Warmington's false comments have undermined the work of the Commission and the confidence Jamaicans have in its role as watchdogs for transparency and accountability. According to Mr. Blake, Mr. Warmington's statement, coupled with his absence from the committee meeting on Tuesday at which the IC's latest annual report was discussed, demonstrates that he is unfit to continue serving. The Patriot says, his removal is necessary to restore public trust. It says Mr. Warmington's behavior jeopardizes the integrity of the committee itself. Detectives have seized the additional 38.3 million Jamaican dollars in cash during a secondary search in the continuing investigation into suspected lottery scamming activities at a home in St. Catherine. The multi-agency operation conducted on Saturday, October 19, 2024, revisited a property on St. Vincent Boulevard in Caribbean Estate, Portmore, where officers have previously seized a large amount of money in various currencies. In a release on Sunday, the police said the latest seizure brought the total amount seized to 90 million Jamaican currency. The operation, which took place between 11.30 a.m. and 7.10 p.m., was led by detectives from the National Strategic Anti-Gang Division with support from the major organized crime and anti-corruption agency, the Financial Investigation Division, and the Caribbean Search Center. During the search, which was carried out in the presence of the suspected relative to the investigation, detectives also recovered two electronic devices, a currency counting machine, financial documents, luxury item receipts, and designer handbags. The attorney for the suspects, a couple, was also present during the operation, said the police. In addition to the house search, previously seized motor vehicles were inspected and further financial documents found within the vehicles and were taken for investigation. The police said the additional developments are expected to bolster the ongoing probe. Also, the release said investigators have confirmed that the scope of the investigation has expanded beyond what was initially suspected to be lottery scamming activities. The police previously reported that a number of high-end motor vehicles and two firearms were among the seizures earlier this week at the home in Focus. Charges against the suspects are expected to be laid in the coming days as the investigation progresses.
guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment down below